at six tonight, new technology is helping kids recognize the signs and symptoms of a concussion. These goggles that you'll see these kids put on here helped middle school students learn what it feels like after taking that kind of a hit. CBS 4's Melissa Garcia live at Denver Public Schools, All City Stadium tonight. Melissa, experts say the injury can actually be invisible. It really can, Karen. And you can see the sign right here. It says, when in doubt, get checked out. Now, whether it's at a track meet like the one you see here or at a football game on the field, research suggests almost a third of athletes have suffered an undiagnosed concussion. Well, the, mo the mother of one victim we spoke with today wants to change that. We didn't have probably all of the knowledge that we needed even as medical professionals watching our child play sports. Kelly Jantz knows how serious an undiagnosed concussion can be. Her son Jake, a Grandview High freshman, died in 2004 after taking a second hit on the football field. That hit came one week after suffering a concussion he never knew he had. Do you have to have a hit to the head? No. no. Karen McAvoy is director of psychology at the Center for Concussion. She's teaching this seventh grade gym class about brain injury, both on the field oh. and off of it. Coaches and athletic trainers are not always on the sidelines. What we really want is for kids to recognize it in their own teammates and in their classmates. Aiden Stewart tried on a pair of concussion goggles to see what some of the symptoms feel like. Distorted vision. I feel kind of dizzy. He and his classmates will be writing letters to Congress asking for stiffer school sport regulations. Maybe have a professional always come in no matter like how hard they got hit. Legislation and awareness, Jans hopes, will prevent more tragic deaths like Jake's. With the knowledge we have now, we would have approached it differently. And in 2012, the Jake Snakenberg Act was signed into law. It requires coach education to help recognize a concussion. Now, experts today say student athletes, their peers, and their families play just as crucial of a role in recognizing brain injury. We're live in Denver, Melissa Garcia, CBS 4 News.